Okay, so it's been about five days since I first came out to tap trees. I have a few more to do. I was waiting for something to come in the mail and so I received it today. So I'm out here tapping the rest of the trees. I'm gonna be running some more line to connect with the rain barrel that's down behind me. So, here we go. There's a line running there down to the rain barrel. I'm gonna be connecting the trees today to that line. I've got this one long line here. I will connect one end to the tree, so I'll add a spile here. And then I'm gonna run this past each tree that I plan to tap on the way, and then connect it down to the main line running to the rain barrel. Thing, so I will put this in here and then attach the other line to come in. This line over here has six trees on it. The one I just brought in will have one, two, three, four, five. So I just added spiles to short pieces of tube, tap those into each tree and then do the same thing with those little three-way three splicers uh, to connect it to this main line. And then they'll all be going into one bucket. It's working! Forty oh. trees! Yes! It's pretty late, but I was planning on doing a boil down over the next two days because it's going to be pretty nice and we have quite a bit of sap to get through. So I'm going to get the fire ready so that I can just wake up super early and light it and get things going um, so I don't have to come out and split wood and stuff first thing in the morning. it's too early for me. It's too early to be collecting sap, I guess.
While I continue to wait for the sap to boil down, I'm gonna marinate the salmon to have it ready for dinner tonight. This is our favorite salmon recipe. It's nice because we can use our own syrup for it and it's only four ingredients, so it's super easy. All it is is six tablespoons of syrup, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sriracha, and garlic powder. I like to add a lot of garlic powder because, let's be honest, garlic makes everything better. The sriracha does make it a little bit spicy, so if you don't like the spice, I would either leave that out or reduce the amount. I'm just using our cold steel six inch filet knife to cut this salmon into smaller pieces and putting them into a baking dish and pouring the sauce over top of them to let them marinate for at least half an hour before we're ready to cook them. Thank you. Are you helping Wesley? I'll be cooking the salmon at 375 for about 15 minutes. Um, you don't want to overcook them because there is nothing worse than dry salmon. Because it's still winter in the Yukon. I finished packing. It's a huge milestone. <laughs> What's up? Bam bam. What, do you want to smell this and see what you think? safe trip. Thank you. Do you believe that I'm done my packing? I can. Cheers, Mama. Cheers, Boo. Cheers, Wesley, you little cutie. Do you want a straw? Yeah. You can draw. I'm like, mm. oh. oh my God, it's so good. Well, today was kind of a long day. I woke up at quarter to five this morning um, to get the sap going. What did I do today? Today was a blur, Wesley Boops. Wesley's home this week because it's March break. Um, Jim leaves tomorrow for his Yukon trip. So Jim was focused on getting everything dialed in before he leaves while I managed the 
sap and did a bit of work on the computer. The day's not done yet. I need to finish the boil down that's still happening outside. I'll just pull it off overnight, put it back on in the morning because there's obviously, because there's still a ton of sap that needs to, there's still a ton of sap that we need to get through. Right, Wadi? In case anyone's wondering, sometimes we call Wesley Wadi because that is what Hudson calls you, isn't it? Wadi. You're not liking this food. What's going on? No, you're like, get out of here, mom. Anyways, Jim leaves at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I plan to do another uh, boil down tomorrow. Um, and I'm gonna start cooking. So I have a lot of stuff that I wanna cook and get into the dehydrator. So uh, I'm excited to do that. I've been uh, waiting for this for a while and I'm gonna try using the pressure cooker, so which I've never used before, so we'll see how that goes. Good morning, it is um, seven o'clock. Jim left at six this morning. Um, I stayed up and took the syrup off the stove at two in the morning. I'm gonna go put it back on the stove and then I'm gonna um, put the rice that I made yesterday on the dehydrator to get that drying out, um, hopefully before the kids are out. So, get that done. Good morning. Are you ready to eat breakfast? You little cutie? Are you my helper today? I've spread the rice out onto five dehydrator trays. Um, I tried to do it you know, kind of a thin layer of rice so that it can dehydrate fairly easily. This dehydrator that I have here is my favorite one. I have two. This one seems to work better. What I like about it is that you can swap the trays around while it's dehydrating. I find that some trays dehydrate faster than others. So, you know, the top and bottom ones seem to dehydrate faster. So as they're dehydrating, I can go in and swap them out. Um, the difference with the other one is there's a tray that has to go on the top and it has to stay on the top so you can never swap that top one uh, with other ones. This one you do have to make sure you're placing it on top of the other trays properly. There's a rest on the top and the bottom and you want to make sure you line those up. I basically just took some parchment paper, I took one of these trays that comes with the dehydrator and just traced it and then I cut up um, five pieces of parchment to fit the trays. I, you could also use the leather, the fruit leather trays that come with it. Mine only came with one, so I don't have enough. So I just always use parchment paper. It works just fine. Um, I use parchment paper for anything that would fall through the holes. So this is a Sultan. The only downfall with this one is that there's no timer, so you can't set it to automatically shut off. However, I kind of like that because then it doesn't just shut off and stay off overnight. Whereas this one, this Hamilton Beach, it does have a timer. Okay, so um, to dehydrate rice, I made a big pot of rice. I'm not gonna tell you how to make rice. I'm sure uh, you know how or you can Google it. I set the dehydrator at 125. I forget, I have to Google this stuff. 
Yeah, 125. It says for five hours. Uh, so I will set a timer for five hours and check it. Uh, anyways, I'm no expert dehydrator. I'm really just flying by the seat of my pants. I am going to attempt to dehydrate butter chicken sauce because I love butter chicken. I've allowed Hudson to watch Paw Patrol this morning because, um, you know, it's hard to just get stuff done with Wes. I have to feed Wesley breakfast and things like that. So he needs to be distracted. Usually the one of us takes Hudson to daycare, one of us is feeding Wesley, or Wesley's already on the bus to school by the time we're taking Hudson to daycare, so I just figured Huddy was feeling a little snuggly this morning, he wanted to lie down, so I just let him watch TV, so whatever, judge me if you want. I'm gonna start cutting up parchment paper to match the trays for my other dehydrator. So this is the one that uh, has to stay on top. It's got this on it. The other ones look like this. To dehydrate butter chicken sauce, you'll want to set your dehydrator to 135 and dehydrate for 8 to 12 hours. So, 8 hours and 135 start. Alright, well, we've got some food dehydrating. How are you two doing over here? Are you tired, Huds? Wesley's tired. Are you tired, Wesley? He doesn't look very tired to me. Are you tired, Wesley? You don't look tired. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I think it's time you go to daycare. Boil down is going pretty well. Um, I just went and collected four 20 liter buckets from the sap buckets. So I brought those up and um, you know what? I'll bring you out there. <sighs> this one's particularly dark our warming pan just brought up a bunch more wood and brought up all these these buckets plus one that I just poured into the pan so making some progress here Eddie's home from daycare it's the evening now but um, Hudson did dump out one of the buckets of sap that I had brought up so I was planning on just finishing those today so he dumped one out so kind of upsetting but that's one less thing for me to do I guess we're down to one pan it's looking pretty dark um, I just poured off the other pan so I'm hoping to be able to pull this in not too late in the evening because I do I do like sleep um, so it would be nice to get to bed earlier it's going boiling pretty good so I'll come back out and check it in about maybe another hour or so So I, Wes, I had Wesley sitting on the floor up against the couch, um, like he usually does. And uh, sometimes he like kind of falls over, but he'll catch himself on his elbow. So he was sitting on the floor and I went outside to check the syrup and I come back in and he's way across the floor. He went all the way from here, through here, to here. Can I help you get anywhere or are you just on your own mission? All right, dehydrator check. It's still kind of like um, fruit leather a little bit. I bought a bunch of mason jars. 12 500 mil, 12 250 mil, 12 125 mil because we like to give jars of syrup away. Um, and the smallest jars we typically had was like 500 ml, so we were often giving away like 500 milliliter jars of syrup. So last year we ran out, I feel like, fairly quickly. So this year I got smaller jars, so depending how much we like you, that's the size of jar you're gonna get. So just take note. Throw these into the dishwasher and run it on a hot 
hot cycle just to kind of sterilize them. I have a helper, uh, which makes me very nervous because um, it's extremely hot. So I'm hold this. Can you, don't touch this. Very hot, okay? I can go do it. Hudson, this is just a disaster waiting to happen with you up there. Oh, it's coming! I'm gonna pour it into here. Good job! Okay. I am at the final uh, little filter here. I rinsed this twice. So you can see just how dirty it is. So that's one filter. Um, I filter it twice. And if it's not filtered properly, you'll see the niter, which is sugar sand basically. It's so fine that it gets through that first filter. This is the final filter. I'll show you what this looks like when it's filtered out all of that niter. Should do a taste test just to make sure you know it tastes okay. It's so good. And now the final boil down. <clears throat> when it starts bubbling like that, like it's about to boil over, it's done. Um. That was at pretty much 219. This one is the same. Oh, jeez. Uh, panic. Panic. Wow. Well, that was quick. See that like wispy stuff in the bottom? It's kind of cloudy. That's the sand. Here's the filter. After... This is already... I already rinsed it once. Six liters, even, minus what I drank myself. <laughs>